Hey guys, what's up? How's everybody doing today? Hopefully you guys are doing great. So, question I get today is, can we manifest without doing nothing, trying hard and all that stuff to manifest? Can we manifest or can we get what we want without pushing, striving and all this other stuff? Good morning. How's everybody doing today? And the answer is yes, you can manifest. And you can, I mean, you can bring things into your reality with actually, without actually doing anything, man. Did you know that? And first of all, do you know the number one reason you fail to manifest? That you, you know the number one reason why you're not getting what you want? Does anybody know the answer to that one? Morning. Good morning, good morning. The number one reason why we don't get our stuff here. The number one reason things fail to manifest for a ton of people is because they're trying too hard. They're trying too hard. They're trying to figure out. They're taking action, not inspired action. There's difference. They're taking egocentric action. They're worrying. They're doubting the process. And of course, all of this ties back to they don't believe in themselves. All right, listen, for you to manifest abundance and to get stuff into your life, okay, you have to be able to trust your higher part of yourself. You got to trust yourself. Now, listen to me now. When I say trust yourself, the first thing that's going to come into your mind is this. I gotta trust me. No, 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 not, you can't trust you. That's not yourself. See how, that, see how tricky that is? That's how you mess up. When I say trust yourself, people will think I trust my, myself. My name is Mark, da, da da this is what I do. I gotta trust that. No, that's a character. Character. You have character and you have self. You know like in the movies and you know, like Hollywood and all that stuff, right? They got the actors, right? And these actors, they play a role in the movie. They play a character. But when these people go home, they're totally someone else. If you see them on the street and you meet them, you, you're gonna assume that's the character. You're gonna think that's who they are in real life. Right? But that's not how this stuff goes. It's not, that's not, they're not, that's not how, who they are in real life. And the same thing is with you. You gotta be able to trust your not the character but your true self so in order for you to trust your true self you got to know where that where that self is where does it exist where does it live I mean where is it I mean that's that's the big question right there you guess you get what I'm saying that part of you is your 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 authentic or higher self and let me tell you how to trust that part of you okay for you to trust your true self, it's going to come through your gut. Your gut is going to tell you whether you're on point with your true self. You're going to feel your intuition and also when you trust your true self, you will never have to know how things are going to turn out. And that's the tough one for a lot of people because we have to figure out like what's best for us, what do we think we need. If you're going to trust your true self, all of that can't come into the game. You gotta just go in there on blind faith, just knowing that, hey, there's something deeper in me that knows more than I know, even knows more than what I think I need. It knows what's best for me. That's how you do it. If you start to do it like that, you can manifest money, success. You can manifest a whole bunch of stuff into your life. See how that works? Yes, drum play says this what? Drum play says this is a game for life, not just lottery. That's correct, this is the game for life. And you can also use lottery. How do you know the difference between the ego-based, intuition-based action? Shiv Sharma asked me that question. 
e ego, but anything that's anything coming from your character is going to carry an emotion, and the emotion your character is going to carry is going to be some sort of uneasy or not so feeling good emotion. So that's when you know it's ego based. Anything coming from yourself, listen to this now, this is important. Anything coming from yourself usually doesn't carry any high emotion. Anything comes from yourself will carry a state of neutrality, a peace, it's just like a normal thing. There's no ups or downs, there's just this constant nice state. That's when you know it's coming from yourself and not your um, ego. The negative voice people hear in their heads are your ego. It's your ego. Yes, so many of us, what we do is we live, we live, we live in the character and we associate the character as ourselves. And the reason we associate the character as ourselves because no one ever taught you, teach you that there is a self. There's not a, you have a character, a role you play. Most of us, when we go home or when we leave, we still stay in the character. We don't get into ourselves. I mean, first of all, you don't know about yourself. No one taught you yourself. But let me teach you yourself right now, who yourself is. So you don't have, um, you are a spirit that have a body, all right? So you're not a body with a spirit. You're a spirit with a body. So when I talk about spirit, let's get deeper on spirit. Spirit is a term we use for things that we cannot see physically as malleable or matter. Spirit is invisible to our naked eye because spirit lives in a realm of energy and vibration. Spirit is the consciousness, it's the awareness, it's the intelligence that govern all. It's the power source that gives birth to all what we call life and existence. That's what I mean by you are a spirit. And a spirit isn't one unique thing. A spirit is infinite, it's everywhere at the same time, in the same space, in the same dimension, in different dimensions, all experiencing reality simultaneously. That's what you are. The spirit or the non-physical, the consciousness, it derives its existence into matter, into 3D form. It slows itself down at such a slow vibration that our brains were uh, developed and our brains evolutionized so that we can see our senses. That's what the spirit does. That's what your higher self does. That's what you, you are. And then when you, when you form this being or this human being you have here, keep in mind again, that's just the vibration from the spirit slowed down so your five senses can interpret this world you live in. See how that works? Mm -hmm. So, if you understand or overstand what I just said, what I just mentioned to you, that if you are the spirit with a body, then you are all you're capable of almost anything you want to create that exists in the 3D world. Anything that the 3D world created, you can have it. If the 3D world didn't create it, you can't have it because you're not aware of it. It's not in your belief system. But anything in the 3D world that has been evolved, created by us, you can have it. So that means you can have more money, you can have relationships, you can have health, you can have all of that. Because all of these things are created by us, through us in the 3D world. If it's not in the 3D world, you can't have it because it's not in your experience. Until it comes in the 3D world, until it comes in your mind, then you can create it. See how, does that make sense now? Mm. Got that? So, once the, um, the self got here to this plane, the self realized that, okay, this is this place is slow I have to slow this place down so I I have to create a helper for the self and that comes in your mind your call your conscious mind or your ego so the self created and evolved your ego your ego is primarily designed to interpret and think about the physical 3d world so the self says all right here I'm gonna give you a tool to help you to navigate this world so that you can make better sense of it. But the tool that yourself gave you became so smart 
which is what it's supposed to do. And the tool that yourself gave you can think and reason. And then other, pe other selves that came in the plane, they started to develop their own experiences and they started to say, well, I'm gonna rule this world, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna set laws, rules, and governments, and schools, and this is how it's gonna go. And your ego got accustomed to all of this. Therefore, now your ego is trapped in the physical 3D world, can't get out of the 3D world, because it was made to interact with the 3D world. But if you think about it, if you think about it on a deeper level, if you had known, check this out, if you had known that you are this spirit with a body and that you have this ego that's gonna help you, did you know that you your ego would never be a problem for you? Did you know that if someone had taught you this, you'd have mastered your ego like that? Because if you knew that you're this higher self and this ego is this tool, whatever the ego says to you, you would literally laugh at it. Negative thoughts would come in, you would laugh. They, 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 they'll bounce off of you because you know that, listen, I'm the one that created you, man. Your job is to kind of help me here. Your job is not to try to take over this stuff. I mean, I'm the big brother. You're the little kid. Well, now you know. So someone asked me earlier, Mark, how do I overcome my ego? This knowledge that I just shared with you is the key to do that. Now, when you have this self and you're, so what you wanna do is you wanna separate the character from the self so that you can manifest things effortlessly. And this is where I talk about you can manifest stuff effortlessly. Now that, now that you know you're just consciousness that you can create anything in your life, the key now is to align your regular mind so that you can get it. So when you when you have your ego, your conscious mind aligned, this is when you believe it's possible. When you have both of them totally aligned, not only you believe it's possible, but you expect it to happen. That's when the, the character and the self shake hands. Say, all right. All right the, character, the character and the subconscious mind shake hands. I say, all right, let's do this. So if you're someone watching this, if you believe something is possible for you and you and you don't know how you're going to get it or when you're going to get it, but you know you're going to get it and you expect it, congratulations. It means that you're sh shaking hands with your subconscious and you guys became an agreement that it's going to come into your life. That's right, Jane. Almost need to treat your ego. Your ego is the toddler in this. You, know, you got to look, you got to remember, guys. It's like, okay, it's like, you're, it's like your mom, had, you say your mom had you first. You're seven years old. And then your mom had a little baby brother after that. You're seven years older than your brother or your sister. And your sister now, you're seven. And your sister just came into the world. Your brother came into the world. Now you're like 11, 12, right? And they're like four, let's say they're three or four or five. Let's go even say you're like 17 years old. And your brother now is nine or ten years old are you going to let your nine or ten year old brother or kid sister tell you about life about how the world works are you going to let your little nine or ten year old brother or sister freak you out and scare you with negative thoughts are you going to do that well i got news for you that's what you've been doing all these years if you're someone right now and your mind has gotten a hold of you and you're always panicking and anxious and worrying and your mind is talking to you down you have a you have a kid brother or sister that's telling you what to do how rid ridiculous does that sound well that's facts that's what's happening in your life if you're letting your ego tell you if you if you are there's no there listen nothing is wrong with your your mind bringing negative stuff into your head that's completely normal okay it's completely normal to have negative thoughts it's completely normal to feel down sometimes it's completely normal to have a little bit of doubt what is not normal listen now what is not normal is if you become encompassed if it starts to run your life if it's if you start to absorb it more if you start to take it seriously, if you start to let it affect your quality of life, that's not normal. 
So if you want to get your life back on track and you want to, to, to normalize again, you just have to realize that you're a character and the character, you can turn it off because you're a being of consciousness. And all you have to do is don't pay attention to your ego. Listen to this, people. Listen to this. Whatever you become inundated with, you're going to manifest it. Or best way, okay, whatever you become fascinated with, you're going to manifest it in your life. If you are fascinated by lack, negativity, poverty, if you're fascinated by how I'm going to get it, you're just going to manifest more of that. If you're fascinated by wealth, by abundance, you're going to get that. See what I'm showing you? Remember what remember what I what I said, right? You're what? Your attention is your currency. It's whatever you place your attention on, you will get it. Do you know why many spiritual teachers, they tell you this stuff, right? They always say to you guys, like if you go watch uh, Neville Goddard, uh, who else you got? Abraham Hicks, you got Joe Dispenza, you got Sagu, you got all these big, nice teachers. And they all want one thing for you. They, they are trying to tell you one thing. Yeah, Reverend Ike, put Reverend Ike in there. Oh, I didn't even know that. Reverend Ike said what, it, what you're fascinated with. See that? We always channel, we're channeling even the, these teachers, even though they're gone, they're not gone. You still information is out there. I didn't know Reverend Ike said that. So, all these teachers, Bob Proctor, yes, all the great ones, Lewis Hayes, all of them, they always tell you this. They say to you, Neville Goddard said, the feeling is a secret. You always hear they, you always hear them telling you this stuff. They say to you, um, you gotta act as if. You gotta feel like you have it. You gotta believe it's already yours. What what are they saying in simplistic terms? What they're basically saying to you guys is they're saying that your attention is your currency. They're saying to you that whatever your attention is on, it's always going to create an emotion. Because your subconscious mind is 90% emotion. So they're trying to tell you that you should you need to be in a state of either peace or neutrality more often and then you'll get what you want. They're not telling you you got to be happy 24-7. You cannot be happy 24-7. That's, that's, that's not logical. It just can't work like that. However, you can be in a neutral state 24-7. You see that? So then, and the next lesson is this one. So how do I manifest what I want? Stop wanting it. And you'll get it. Stop needing it. You'll receive it. Stop looking for it. It will find you. As a matter of fact, it'll come looking for you. Remember, attention is your currency. Do you know what attention is? Attention isn't just what you focus on. Attention is also what you do, what you're not focusing on. That's an attention as well. Now let me show you how it works. Because some of you may be confused right now. They're like, well, this guy just said my attention is my currency. So wait a minute. You're saying that if I don't focus on it, da, da, da. So here's what I'm saying to you. Let's go into the realm of only what you want. Okay, so let's focus. Let's say you want a, another car, like a car. You want to manifest your dream car, a dream house. Okay. What you got to do is get clear on what you want. I want this car. I want this model. I want this color. Right, it's a two door, it's a coupe. What engine trim is it? That's what I want. I want this house. It's two stories, a flat, three bedroom, two bedroom. I want an indoor or outdoor garage. Get clear on what you want first. Okay? Once you get clear on what you want, you go to the second step. Okay? 
I'm going to write down what I want in the present tense as if it's here or I could visualize it in the end. I see myself driving my car. I see myself cleaning my new house. Once you do that, okay? The minute you do that, it's etched into the subconscious mind. What you do now during the daytime or during the whatever time is you keep yourself in that state of neutrality. When you think about your desire, you think about it as if it's on the way and it's done and you're expecting it. When you do that, that's what I mean by not focusing too much on it. That, that's what I mean that it's going to start to come into your reality. Because now your subconscious mind is the logical mind and it says, Oh, you're telling me I already have this. So if I have it, let me make it more visible to you. That's all your subconscious is looking at. Your subconscious is watching you 24-7. Even with no income, you can manifest anything in the world. If you believe it enough and your faith is strong and you're visualizing and you're writing it and you, and you let it go and you don't let your mind figure out how, you can manifest a million dollars from zero income. You can manifest $50,000 from zero income. You can manifest a million dollars sleeping in your car, living in the street, living in your mom's house. You can manifest any simple thing like that. And let me remind you again that you don't live in objective world. It's subjective. And the reason you can manifest these things is because these things, they are not physical as well. They are in you right this moment. You can, you can go like this and you're touching them, but your senses just aren't picking them up. This is why you can manifest anything. This is why when, when you have strong belief and you have strong faith and you have strong expectation, nothing can stop you. Nothing in the world can stop you. Because the world is your world. You're making the world. The people can't stop you. Your boss can't stop you. The system can't stop you. The government can't stop you because all of them are part of the illusion of your world. The only thing that can stop you is, you guessed it, you. All about you. So you got to start to get to the true self. So how do I access my true self? I seen that question earlier. Someone says, how do I access my higher self? If you want to get to your higher self, you got to clear your subconscious mind first. You got to clear it. Lisa, Lisa says she has a sob and she's manifesting a Porsche. If you want a Porsche, you'll get the Porsche. Everything starts and ends with you. That's right. When I want, when I want, this Shiv Sharma says, when I want a girl, 1,000 1, people pay, play their role to get her to me. Our souls know the beginning. What our souls know the beginning of what we want so that's the use of telling the expert uh, what to do. So there is this thing that um, creates our, re our reality. And this thing that creates your reality is called your subconscious mind, right? The thing, you gotta, the, thing, the thing I want you to be aware of, and I talk about this a lot on my channel, but I really want you to get into your head because I don't, I don't, this is so important. And I think when I, even when I say to you guys, some people still don't get it. So I'm going to keep saying it until the bell goes off in your head. And then you're going to say, oh man. And then you can change your life. Because it is really this simple. The thing in that controls your life, okay, it believes anything. It believes anything you tell it. It cannot filter reason rationality this is why you have a conscious mind to help you to protect you from your subconscious think about that your sub your conscious mind was invented and to and evolve to help you to make sense of your unconscious mind because your conscious mind knows that you have a part of you that believes anything so let's go listen now let's use your subconscious mind in the positive aspect so 
if I want more abundance, if I want more peace, if I want this car, if I want a house, if I want my business, if I want my trade and my stocks, my real estate properties, all my stuff, if I want them to go, if I want clients to like flood my businesses, if I want to make more money in my, whatever it is, all I got to do is I got to go to my subconscious mind and tell that guy or girl that, listen, the stuff that I just told you I want or desire, I want you to remember that it's normal for me to have them. I don't want you to think it's like fantasy or it's a wish. I don't want you to hope to get these things. I don't want you to wish to have these things. I want you to make me expect to have these things. That's when the power of the subconscious turns to full power and that's when you're gonna see the best results in your life. Listen to this people. Most people, the majority of people, they hope and they wish for their success you got to stop hoping and you got to stop wishing because you're playing yourself hope is good to get you inspired but that's all it is just to start you up never wish never hope and never fantasize about your desires can someone tell me why you should never do this because this is extremely important I made the mistake of doing that when I first started to play the lottery to win it and boy I was in a rut. No one taught me that, that, so that's why I was doing it. I, everything I was doing was trial and error. I thought that I would wishing and hoping and fantasizing would make me win the jackpot. But it didn't. Something else made me win the jackpot. Something else made me manifest this car you see right here. This is my M3, my E46 car. I take it out every couple weeks or so now physical thing I manifested I'm talking to you in right now so if you're someone watching this video you can see this guy this guy's talking from what he did he's showing you what he physically manifested here it is sitting in it right now so that you can see it's real this is important for your subconscious mind why shouldn't you why shouldn't you fantasize hope and wish for your dreams to come true You should do this instead. Only thing you should do when it comes to your dreams and goals and aspirations is you should expect them to come true and you should see them like it's a normal thing to happen. Can someone explain to Anne what's the difference between fantasizing and visualizing? If anyone knows that answer, I'll tell you, I'll tell you as well. What's the difference between fantasizing and visualizing? Let me tell you the difference. You got to pay attention, okay? Fantasizing is when you put too much emotion into your desires. Now you're in fantasy world. Visualizing is when you put neutral emotions into your desires. When you visualize something, you visualize it like it's going to, it's already happening or it's happening. Let me give you a real life example. You experience every day of the week, but listen to this. No one, no one, I'm just going to say this for just for video purposes. For the record, no human being in the history has ever experienced tomorrow. No human being in the history of the world has ever experienced Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. No human in the entire world has ever experienced the future, okay? Just to let you know, but I'm going to say this. So let's talk about tomorrow, just for this to make sense to you. You have a routine, you go to work. So every day when you go to work, you know what you're going to do tomorrow. So let's say it's Monday and you're going to go into work Tuesday. So what do you do? You know what you got to do for Tuesday. So you go in your head and you start to think about, okay, I'm going to go to the cleaners tomorrow. I got to pick my car up from the that I'm going to do that. That's visualizing, okay? When you do that, there is no emotion. Because you know that's what you got to do. That's visualizing. Fantasizing is, oh my God, I got to go tomorrow. I got to put all this emotion. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so this. See the difference? That's the fantasizing and visualizing. So the answer, I just answered the question to you why you shouldn't be in the world of um, fantasy, hoping, and wishing. Because all that does, when you fantasize, when you hope, and you wish, you will never access your higher mind it gets cut off you are now going to access only your conscious mind 
Your conscious mind lives in the world of fantasizing, wishing, hoping, and dreaming. And the reason is because your conscious mind, the reason why your conscious mind, the reason why you fantasize, hope, wish, and pray is because you cannot see the possibility. Therefore, it becomes a fantasy to you. Fantasies, wishing, hoping, and praying is impossible to exist in a mind that sees all, knows all, done all, experience all, and that's your subconscious mind, your godlike, whatever you want to call it, mind. It's impossible to live in fantasy in that world. Okay? So in the subconscious mind, everything is in real time normal, like you're getting up and going for work. That's the trick to your success. If you can get that, you will get things without doing any work. You can chill, and it can come into your lap and just drop there. You'll drop there like no tomorrow. Reflection says, I think a lot of us are having issues with overthinking. We should buy what? Uh, we should buy the, the oil that Mark was talking about. You talking about the root, the clean slate. Yes, the clean slate, that stuff is very powerful. It really helps you with everything, man. Mental, you'll have less overthinking. Overthinking and all that stuff is, is caused by a lot of toxins in our environment. You're, when, when we overthink, okay guys, let me teach you something, all right? I'm going to give you a very profound stat. I was a research, I've seen this. 50 years ago, the population, just in the US, had the least amount of stress, the least amount of mental illnesses, mental diseases, meaning they had no less anxiety, less depression, less overthinking forward back into this century now into this era we are at the highest rate of overthinking negative thinking depression anxiety what do you think contributes to all of that it's coming from the environment you know what it is the chemicals in the food the chemicals in the environment the toxins in everything around us everything affects your hormones when it affects your hormones it glitches the communication system between the brain now you'll start to have a lot of negative thinking negative patterns so if you want you want to offset that you got to get helper you got to use something that gets your mind and this is why i I'll use that root for mentioning that and i'll place the link again in the comments so you can go get your root clean slate i keep talking about it because it is so powerful it's so great that's right kavira says one one hundred thousand dollars is so normal that's correct Listen, people, you got to beat it into your subconscious until it accepts it. So you got to, every day, every morning, or whatever, you got to use these affirmations I put out to you guys. You got to do them all the time until your subconscious accepts them. It's not what you do occasionally. It's what you do regularly that's going to make the difference. I still get up every morning and I do my affirmations all the time every single morning every day or sometimes whatever it just pops in my head I do it live yes live your life shift says live your life you can use your you can if you don't if you're somewhere you don't feel like talking out to your affirmations go record them you have a phone your phone can record your voice on it Record your own voice and play it in your car. Play it in your car and listen to yourself. Which affirmations? There's a whole bunch of affirmations. Turn them in a question. Why am I so great at this? Why am I the best at what I do? Why am I so great at making lots of money? Why do I have more than enough money to live the life I desire? Why am I so lucky in winning top prizes in the lottery? Why am I consistently in the right place at the right time claiming top prize lottery, top tier lottery prizes? Why is the lottery making me rich? Why is success making me rich? Why is my real estate business so successful? Why am I trading so profitable? Why am I so healthy? Why do I feel so young and strong? Why are things always in my favor? Why is the universe rigged in my favor? Why do I live in a friendly universe designed to serve me? Why do people love me everywhere I go? Why am I the best at what I do? Why am I so favorable in all outcomes? Why am I in the right place at the right time claiming abundance? Da 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 da. I can go on forever and ever. You gotta learn. You gotta learn this stuff. You gotta. 
this stuff you got to learn man and you got to speak it out because that is not that's the only way you're going to get your subconscious to be impressed by that and you can become creative and do all type of stuff and the more you say it and you keep consistent your subconscious accepts it how do you know when your subconscious accepts it i'm gonna tell you when you know your subconscious accepts it when your subconscious accepts it is when you're gonna feel like not doing it anymore when you start to do it your mind's gonna start to reject you so your mind's gonna say stop that means it already accepted it the mind is saying all right chill we've got this go with something else See it? Why am I at the perfect weight? Why do I release weight so easily? Why do I consistently maintain my ideal weight? Why am my body so healthy? Why is my metabolism so fast? Okay. Mm -hmm. Anna Lee. It is always, listen, is it better to feel neutral when visualizing rather than feel happy? Okay, here's the, here's the thing. You got to feel what your body's telling you to feel. If your body's telling you to feel happy, you feel happy. If you can't feel anything, that's neutral. What most people do is they try to initiate feelings. And when they visualize in, that's why I say most people, like I tell you, for, people, go learn yourself first. You can't, you're not going to be the best manifester if you don't even know yourself. Go learn yourself. What I mean by learn yourself is, okay, when you're visualizing, notice this about your visualizing sessions. When you're visualizing something, do you have a lot of emotion? That's fine. That's, your, that's how your body's made up. Your, your wiring says, I don't have to exhibit a lot of emotions. Another person, when you visualize, do you have a lot of emotions? That's great. Your body's saying, I'm wired to have more emotions. But you, the person, when you're visualizing and you don't feel any emotion, you're going to try to create emotion because there's some stuff out there that tell you that you have to have all this positive emotion when you're manifesting. You do not have to do that. I keep telling you people, people, when I won the lottery, I was in the worst mood of my life. I was late for work. I didn't even want to buy the ticket, man. You know what made me buy the ticket? My habits, my action, my subconscious made me buy the ticket. My subconscious didn't stop bugging me until I bought the ticket. It started making me feel guilty. Mark, you better go buy this ticket. I was so mad I wanted to shut it up. That's why I bought the ticket, to shut it up. I was like, damn, man. I know if I don't buy this damn ticket, all day you're going to be telling me, oh, I should have bought the ticket. So let me just go buy this damn ticket so you can shut up. That's why I bought that ticket. I was in the worst state. And that's the day I won the lottery, the Fantasy Five. So anybody tell you that you have to be high all the time and happy, you cannot do that. You got to be normal all the time. You have to go with what your body is used to. When I visualize, I am not a person that exhibits a lot of emotion. My emotions are neutral. I know individuals that when they visualize, their body exhibits a lot of emotion. Both of us will still get the same thing. But you will not get the same thing if you're trying to adopt someone else's thing. If your body is just normal when you visualize and you're trying to fix it by adding emotion, you're going to create resistance. That's why I say you got to know yourself first. If you don't know your body, what you're used to, how you do, you can't do it. Some people know. Some people know, all right, man, I can get by on five hours of sleep. Oh, Mark, I can't get by on five. I need at least seven. Know your body type. Oh, I need six. I need nine. If you're a nine-hour sleeper and you get six, it ain't going to work for you. See what I'm showing you? Each person's body is wired differently as a consciousness. Don't try to go and take someone else's consciousness and put it into yours. Because you're going to create resistance. You're not going to manifest what you want. I learned my body, I learned myself. I was like, oh Mark, you're not one of those types that's like super emotional. And I was like, okay, that's great. That's fine for me, I'm still manifesting. I know individuals, I have another person, when she visualizes, she cries. She has so much emotion. 
and that's great when they she visual, they visualize they get goosebumps and all that I used to do that that's awesome you're gonna manifest you're gonna get it but do not try to recreate something that's already created in you do not hey, listen if it's not broke don't fix it If it ain't broke, what? Don't fix it. That's what I talk about when I say you got to get out of your own way. We try to, if something don't need adjustment, don't go adjusting it, man. That's why I keep telling you. Once you decide what you want, don't go trying to figure it out how I'm going to get it. Don't go try to see if you can get it faster. Don't go try to see if I could, uh, um, create a glitch in the system where I could get it real quick they can't it's not gonna work because yourself knows what you want before you know what you want let that sink in let me repeat that again your true self knows what you want before you know what you want whenever you get a desire to have something you're too late it already had that plan it just gave it to you now to make you want it but it already knew eons ago so the point is you don't even know what's good for you you don't even know what you want so let your higher self send it to you don't go to your ego to tell your ego, ego try to tell you this is what we want this is what's gonna make us comfortable this is what's gonna make us manifest. No, it won't. You gotta get your body, and you gotta, you gotta, the thing about manifesting is the body have to be on point. You got to have helping. I learned this, I learned this. You got to have something that's gonna help your body. Got it? Feeling, that's what teachers say to you, feeling is the key. Guess people, you're always feeling. Did you know that? You're always in a state of feeling. Some feelings you can detect because they carry higher emotional, but majority of feelings you cannot detect them, but they're there. Whenever you're in a state where things don't bother you and things don't over excite you, that's called the sweet spot. That's where you're gonna do most damage in manifesting. You gotta be in the sweet spot. When you're in that sweet spot, mi miracles happen in the sweet spot. You see that works? Does sexual intercourse affect your manifestation in any way? No. No, no, no. The only things intercourse can do for you is if you're with the wrong partner, like what am I the wrong partner? But if you're someone that has a lot of crap in their life, you're gonna pick the baggage up. But you can still manifest your own desires. It'll only slow you down. People, the only thing that can stop you is you. If you declare it's gonna stop you, it will stop you. right SB says true while I was in a different country on holiday that's when I made a lot of sales on my business yeah because you're in a state of neutrality you're just chilling you're, you didn't have any you didn't let the stress you didn't let anything bother you you were just nonchalant and going with the flow that's when things happen that's when life happens for you is always in that state because your your mind was turned off your logical mind was turned off. Being your logical mind was on the chill mode. It didn't have to. It, your logical mind didn't feel like, okay, I gotta go figure this stuff for hours. Your logical mind was like, oh, we're on vacation. It's time for us to relax. I don't have to worry about work. I don't have to worry about the deadline. Let's just have fun. Boom. That's when the magic happens. But did you know you can be in that state all the time? Yeah, you could. It's not about being happy or this. It's about being neutral. It's about just saying that okay you know what that just happened it's not what happened is what I do 
after it happened. It's the outlook, it's the expectation, it's the I don't care, I don't care, I can't see it, I don't care, it looks like it's hopeless, I don't care about any of it. I just know somehow, some way, this stuff got to come into my life. That's all you got to say, man. You can you can say you can say this stuff you can even say this stuff better come into my life. This stuff have to come into my life. This stuff is coming into my life. This stuff already arrived. You can say all of that stuff, you know that? And you'll get it. The reason why you get it is because you're a subjective um, interference pattern. You're the one that's creating this stuff. You're the one answering your own prayer. You're the one that's answering your own thoughts. There's nobody outside of you people. There's not the judge in the sky. There's not this guy or this this thing or this these entities around you, like seeing if you're worthy to get this stuff. You're the only one that's doing this stuff to yourself. Uh huh. Yeah. Why I keep looking at luxury vacation cars and designer clothes. No, no, no. You don't want to say why. I mean, if you're saying you keep looking at it, it's fine. But you don't want to use that as an affirmation. You don't want to say why I keep looking at luxury vacation cars and designer clothes. Because your mind is illogical. It's just going to make you keep looking at these things. You want to experience them. You have to say, why do I keep driving luxurious cars? Why am I consistently on luxurious vacations? Why do I wear such beautiful designer clothes? Then you have the stuff. But you don't want to say, why am I looking at them? Because you're just going to keep looking at them. You got to remember, guys, that's why I keep saying this. Think in the terms of illogical. When you're going to, when you're going to do your questions, you got to do them in a way. Just like I, sh I, I showed them to you and I did them. That's how you have to do them. Notice all of my questions are designed to make me experience something physical. Because I know if I say... Why do I keep seeing winning lottery numbers? I'm not going to win the lottery. I'm just going to see winning lottery numbers for people. I might see some for someone else. I might see the number might come out today and I see it last night. I say, see what I'm saying? If I keep, if I say, why do I keep winning the lottery? I will win the lottery. See what I'm showing you? So you got, because no, no one taught you this stuff. I'm teaching it to you now. So you have to, whenever you orchestrate your questions, make sure you're doing them in a way that they're going to bring an experience to you. Because your mind is illogical. Remember, you can't think. you got to think for it. So when you orchestrate your questions, do them in a way that they're going to bring the results that you want to experience. Yes, you can say, why am I always happy? Correct. Why am I living? That's correct. Why am I living my dream of life? Yes. Now you'll get the experience stuff. Other coaches are teaching about about your question, ask for affirmations. They work the best to me. That's nice. Yeah, knowledge is free. Everyone can use this and take this. No one, no one, no, I don't own this stuff. This stuff was in the universe and I just got it. All knowledge is not owned. No one owns knowledge. It's all for us to, to get. Why am I the grand prize lottery winner? Yes, but what, what grand prize lottery winner are you? What Where are you? Why am I the New Jersey grand prize lottery winner? Why am I the Florida grand prize lottery winner? See that? You got to be... Remember, your subconscious is logic, illogical. So if you keep saying, why am I the grand prize lottery winner? Okay. Where are you going to win the lottery? You got to bring it down to where you live, your country, your state. You got to declare that. Why am I the Euro Millions Lottery Top Prize winner? Why am I the Montreal, whatever? Why am I the Florida Top Prize, da da da, California, da. Then you get more clarity and then you can win. Okay. So you don't, you, you, you just say this. Caveira says, why am I earning hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars doing nothing? No, you don't say that. You say, why am I easily and effortlessly earning? Don't even use earn. Just say, why am I easily and effortlessly making 
hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars in income or revenue. That's what you say. How can you in how can you improve the quality of interpersonal relationship with others? Improve the quality of interpersonal relationships with yourself first. If you want to improve relationships with other people, you have to be a reflection of what you want to improve. That means you either gotta you gotta first love yourself, accept yourself for who you are, be confident in yourself, knowing that you're a god, you can create, you're the creator, you're a part of this, everything you want is already yours. Then it will reflect on other people, they will respect you. They'll admire you and you'll be humble. Anish wants to know, um, hmm. Mark, can you explain on uh, nothing? Can you explain nothing outside of yourself? Sometimes I get confused with that. So if nothing is outside of myself, did I make up these people? The you the the okay, everything is made up. From nothing came something. So what is nothing? You can't see nothing. You don't know what nothing is. So, but let me get as close to nothing as you can see so that you can make some sense of it. Nothing is the smallest particle that we can observe with an instrument. And so far, that would be the... We go beyond the atom. We go to the lepton, the gluon. There will be mu muons, muons. Um, those are the smallest things we can observe. Everything else breaks down into mathematical equations. That's nothing. So everything comes from that. So the people, the places, they arrive from something you cannot see with the naked eye. That's nothing. Why, yes. So Dream says, why am I winning the Maryland Kino Lottery jackpot? So now you would say, why am I the Maryland top prize Kino lottery jackpot winner. You don't have to say why am I winning, you want to just say why am I the winner of the Maryland top prize Kino jackpot. That's how you do that one. I mean, listen, if you don't know how to ask your questions, you better ask them now while I'm here. So I can help you and show you, because if you don't know how to put them in the correct form, you got to be a specific, and you got to remember it's illogical. So if you have, have questions you need to know to ask for your stuff, put them in the comments, and I can fix them for you. Because I can see many of you are asking your questions incorrectly. Do you visualize? Ask. Uh, do you? Do you visualize um, affirmations when you're in a really bad or pain? Or oh, wait, no, no. When you're if you're if you're in bad or pain, you don't do anything. You don't have to do anything. Just wait, wait until you feel a little bit more better. All right? How can I win the jackpot at the casino? Visualize yourself winning. When you go to the casino, don't go because you think you try to make money. Go to have fun and be open and let the machine talk to you. Put your hands around, use your hands. You know, you listen, your hands are very powerful. Like, get your hands right now. You have the power to heal your own self. Your hands, you can put it... You, I could, I'm going to show you something real simple that you can do right now. If you ever feel nervous or down, take your hands, place it under your shirt... And right where your where your belly button is at, put all five hands on there, and just lay your hands on it gently. Don't press it. Just lay it on there, and take two deep breaths, and watch how fast you feel better. Your hands transfer the heat from the cells. They talk to the cells in your gut and tell them to relax. All right. Should nighttime subliminals be in affirmation form as well? Nighttime subliminals doesn't have to be in um, affirmations as well because nighttime subliminals, your conscious mind is shut off. So any type of subliminal will get to your subconscious mind. The I am, will, the I am ones will get to the subconscious mind because the conscious mind is shut off. Uh, questions are for the daytimers, 
for when you want to impress your subconscious more during the daytime. They're very powerful. Most people have different schedules. Some people can sleep well, some people can't. So a lot of people may not be able to use uh, the subliminals at night as frequently as what. But you can always talk to yourself throughout the day and that has a very powerful impact on the subconscious as well as the conscious mind. So nighttime subliminals, they're only masks so they can oh, they will go in because you're asleep. I live in New York, CSD. Why am I a New York lottery $2 million jackpot winner? Correct format. Uh, no, okay. So what kind of lottery game in New York do you want to win? New York has their own. You just want to win the regular New York lottery game? You want the Powerball, the Mega, the, what is it, Take 5, whatever. So you got to decide the game you'd like to win. Once you decide the game, then you put it in. You would say, why am I the top prize, $2 million, New York lottery winner? That's it. Okay. There's a guy that studies um, alchemy and he says that belief and emotional alignment are the key to reality transfer, transmutation. Yes, that's what you're actually doing. Um, when you believe something, it creates the alignment, the conscious and the subconscious. That's when they shake the hands. And that's what creates the world. Okay, I need to check this affirmation. Why am I always in the right place at the right time? Uh, receiving a winning lottery no no you want to say why am i consistently in the right place at the right time winning top tier lottery jackpot prizes you don't want to win lottery numbers you want to win a lottery prize see what i'm showing you if you're going to win lottery numbers you're just going to get numbers you want the prize of the number so always use top tier prizes jackpot prize not winning numbers you will get winning numbers but guess what it may be a winning number for a game in another country it may be a winning number for a game that you hadn't played and then you look you say oh I, your subconscious gave you the winning numbers but it's a game you didn't play you want the prize so i'm showing you this is stuff you didn't teach you this is why you got to know this stuff to win Brooke says, why am I the top prize winner of the California Mega Millions jackpot? Yes, that's correct, Brooke. Yes, why am I a consistent grand prize winner in the Pennsylvania lottery? Correct, Percy. That's correct. That's, that's, now your subconscious will make you achieve that. Why am I so damn fantastic? Exactly. Now you become fantastic because your subconscious is going to look around and say, all right, what makes this guy or this girl fantastic? Let me bring stuff to make them fantastic. Now, now you're getting it. Okay, this is from Amanda. What about why are my TV series and movies um, always purchased by video? Yes, that's correct. That's okay. Why is my skin healed and healthy? Why do I have natural healing glowing skin? See that? Uh-huh. What does it take to get even more financially limitless than this? No, no, no. You don't have to do that. Just have to say, why am I so financially limitless in opportunities and wealth? Or the easy one is, why do I have more than enough money to live the life I desire? That's the, that's the go-to one for anything financial. Correct. Why do I look so young? Oh, when you put young, you also want to put healthy because you don't want it, people can look young and be sick. You want to put, why am I so young and healthy? Okay. Uh, 
uh, who's this? Young Tran wants to ask me. She says, I wonder why just only one can win the jackpot whilst lots of people here are practicing manifestation. Mark. <clears throat> um, well, the truth is this. I'm going to give you the facts, okay? This is the truth. The truth is, every single human, 8 billion people on this planet, they can all win the lottery at the same time. That's a fact. But the reality is that way never happen. Let's be real. Some people are gonna start, they're gonna give up, they're not gonna believe, da da da. But I'm giving you truth. Quantum mechanics and quantum physics, every person that believes, and if you are one of these persons, you can win the lottery. Every single person. You know why? Because every person inhabits their own universe, unique verse to them. They split off branches of reality where they split a reality where in their world they win, so is the next person, blah, blah, blah. and you'll never notice the difference. That is a fact. However, realistically, most people aren't going to win the lottery because they don't believe, they don't put, they don't put the work, the dedication, the repetition. Just, just, just beyond lottery, anything. But that's a big. Um, statement a lot of people will say well man if i'm playing a lottery i'm competing against everybody you're not competing against nobody you're competing only against yourself that's what you got to understand you got to understand people limitless versus limited we live in a limitless universe the universe will branch off into a exact world with me in it just talking to you where you'll win and the other person will win, win, win so every single human being can win the lottery and there's no competition that means you're not fighting against somebody in the Powerball or the Mega because you're split into your own subjective unit. Remember the laws of physics. This is why they won a Nobel Prize two years ago. They showed that the universe is non-local. It means that the universe is an imagination created by our observation, our awareness, and our subjective views unique to us. That, in layman's terms, that's what they're telling you. Got that? So your job isn't to focus on other people winning or your job isn't to focus on competing with other people. Your job is to focus on yourself. Listen to this. I, you know, I encountered that thing when I was doing the, the winning of the Fantasy Five. My mind told me the same thing. It said, how the hell are you going to win this Fantasy Five, bro? You know, Florida is a huge state, Mark. There's two timelines in the state of Florida. It's one of the biggest states. You know, you're competing with millions of people who are playing this game every day. How you, see that? That's what it's telling me. But I knew the laws of physics. I was like, I'm not competing with anybody. <laughs> this is my own universe. I'm gonna win in now. And that's what exactly happened. But if I was, if I entertained that, I would never won. And the, the beauty when you learn the laws of physics, it's changed your life. When you learn how the universe works, it changes your life. When you learn who you are, it changes your life. Mm. All right, and with that said, guys, mm. that's mm. how it works. I'll see you guys again.